people, right? That's what you do. Here he is. My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? How can I find him? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarl. No, no. Such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Right. Time to go get one of our uh, Daedric artifacts for this game. Right back into the Blue Palace we go. Hello, darling. Are you my gallant hero? Have you come to whisk me away to a life of adventure and romance? Not quite. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Yes, of course. Let's do this. Yeah, Marty. Kelly, my dear. No, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, oh. fools, detractors. Uh, my my husband hasn't slept uh, in <laughs> on yourself but dear sweet homicidally insane Pelagius what would the people do without you dance sing smile <laughs> grow old you are the best septum that's ever ruled well except for that Martin fella but he turned into a dragon god and that's hard to support damn straight you know I was there for that whole sorted affair marvelous time Butterflies, Whoa. blood, a fox, a severed head, oh, and the cheese to die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. You're right there, Platon. Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day. Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius' decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death! That's right! Death outlawed. Interesting. Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? <laughs> I was asked to retrieve you. Were you now? By who? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost? Of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! <laughs> Wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Absolutely. Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, 
I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, Tank? Puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. You're a madman. Surely good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. The mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, you can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive and having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness. Charmed. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right. I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Garden. Idea where you are, where you truly are. Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right, you're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Ah! Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Mm -hmm. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So we have to do three uh, tasks here to help out. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile <laughs> The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. What's up with the ghosts? Fuck off. There we go. One down, two to go. Back with you in a moment, Mad God. Oh, good choice! Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly yeah. average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered. I mean, 
objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabacha to defeat the enemy, but they do the same. Now you might think, oh, we should use a lot of jack on these guys down here. And, you know, it'll be fantastic. But, no. Oh, oh! I thought you'd never figure it out! With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Da -da -da -da. And one more to go. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repent, but persistent. Wake up. The sultry maiden. Alright, that one. Oh, it turned into a campfire. Ooh, wake up! Something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think. Treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. Bye. They've been known to change my mind. So, go. Really. Pelagius Septim the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. Always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now, where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta! Please, our tribe suffers, and we need help. Our chief Yamaz was once a strong and proud warrior. Now he is stricken, cursed. He is weak. And so our tribe is weak. The giants sense this, 
and intrude on our territory. Now they assault our very home. Your Mars refuses help, but I sense that you may be just what we need. Your Mars has demanded we stay inside the walls. We cannot leave. I must petition Malakath for relief. This curse must be lifted. But I cannot travel to Malakath's shrine. The ritual must be done here, and I do not have the materials I need. I beg of you, can you bring me troll fat and a Daedra heart? I have no wish to depend on And a Daedra, of course. You do not know of Malakath? He is the Keeper of Oaths, the Master of Curses. He is quick to anger and slow to forgive. One who wrongs Malakath is one who will endure great torment in return. He demands loyalty and strength from his orcs. We have tried to please him. But he is now angry with us, and so we suffer. The Wind Peak Inn features the fire. What troubles you, my son? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. In any other circumstance, I'd agree with you. However, these aren't normal dreams. The Daedric Lord Vermina's voracious hunger for memories is responsible for these visions. The nightmares are an echo of her presence as she feeds. I need to return to the source of the problem. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me, and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. I promise to answer. Of your questions. Sorry, me. Mine was just somewhere else. You need a room. Drink. I work for the one peak in. Just head on inside. Follow me. It's this way. Watching them suffer has been difficult. The tower on that hill is our destination. People around here call it the Tower of the Dawn. I'm not familiar with the tower's history, but it was deserted for quite a long time before Nightcaller Temple was established. When the temple was active, the priests would rarely be seen in Dawnstar. They preferred to live a solitary existence. The temple's been abandoned for decades now. Ironic, isn't it? There's a small shrine tomorrow I established inside the power's entrance hall. I was hoping to seek spiritual guidance from her.
years ago, this temple was raided by an orc war party seeking revenge. They were being plagued by nightmares just like the people of Dawnstar. Years ago, this temple was raided... No. Knowing they could never defeat the orcs, the priests of Vermina released what they called the Miasma, putting everyone to sleep. I'm concerned that when this place is unsealed, the Miasma will dissipate and they'll awaken, both orcs and priests alike. The miasma was created by the priests of Vermina for their rituals. It's a gas that places the affected in a deep sleep. Because the rituals would last for months or even years, the miasma was designed to slow down the aging process. Sadly, yes. The longer an individual is exposed to the miasma, the more the mind can become damaged. Those who've been under the effect of it for extended periods of time have been known to lose their minds entirely. In some cases, a few never awoke at all. Just a moment, and I'll have this open. Now I can show you the source of the nightmares. Over here. skull of corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woes. We must reach the inner sanctum and destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. this barrier when the miasma was released. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. I spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. certain to find more of the Awakened within. A benevolence, you shall oh. not stop us! Uh. We're still under a 
Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate the information I need. We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called The Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's torpor. Yes, the torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. All believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. The laboratory adjoins the library. find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. Sleeping? Now that they've been dealt with, we need to find the torpor. Well done. I wasn't certain you'd even know what to look for. I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked. So, off taking us this... Dawn stop. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. Let's continue. We still have much to do.
The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Varen. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But, brother... We have no alternative. It's the will of Vermina. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of Vermina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell, my brothers. Worked. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles.
Ben, Thor, you're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. For dawn stars! for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? And had they succeeded, Dawnstar's fate would be sealed. You have a unique way of looking at things, my friend. It's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. Call upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier, and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Take heed, they will wait. Gods will be the judge of that. Just what I need. You see, my name is Bob, and I have a problem. I think you can help sort out. He sounds oddly like, uh, oh, what's his name? Clarence from the Amnesia games. My master and I had a bit of a falling out. Bit of a falling we out. Got into an argument and it got rather. He's kicking me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Let's go. Thank you. 
Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shane. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure your reward... <laughs> means let's hear it it's the least i could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers they were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure then you came and ended their misery i couldn't have planned it better myself so what's your heart's desire what kind of deal can we strike Ah, oh, that insufferable pup! Forget it! Request denied! No deal! I'm glad to be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine... ...in the back end of... ...nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Maybe. But no promises. There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. One of Clavicus's little chests, a wizard named Sebastian Lord had a daughter who worshipped her seed. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. Excellent work! A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost... storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that.
and I could absorb the spirit of poor dead Barbus. He'd still be reunited with me. And I'm sure Barbus doesn't want me to have that axe. He'd want it this way. The choice is yours, friend. We're all counting on you to make the right decision. Put him out of our misery. <coughs> Absolutely. Now I can reabsorb his body and return to full power, all without having to listen to his whining. Oh, sure, he'll be back in a century or two. But think of the fun I can have till then. Enjoy that axe, and don't worry about poor old Barbus. After all, he really should have picked a better friend. What is oh, happening? Uh, that's a lot of guards. I don't... I don't like they're all single file. What? Alright. Well, we're, we're trying to stay out of trouble. Follow them, see where they go. There's no way you all are. Is this like the changing of the guard? I don't know what this is. I've never seen this many guards at once. Me neither. Even the people are seem a little frightened. In the same place? Yeah. You goodbye, Mark. <laughs> Did you see where Crucio just jumped? Uh, 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 uh. I didn't mean to follow him. There's a lot of issues going on in this game right now. Where are you guys going? <laughs> the place that it, if they're going where I think they're going, it's part of the quest where it was the Forsworn. What is that building? Go look at it. No, this is the Temple of Debella, isn't it? Oh, uh, no, this is the guard the tower. Parents. They really are just doing the changing of the guard right now. Dang. Shut up, you guys. If you all talk to me right now, I will kill you. <laughs> that would be awesome. They kind of are. They all just say different statements. It's really annoying. Well, that was awesome. It was really weird. Okay. No, you don't know me. Okay, only this one seems to actually be active in the whole guard thing because the rest of them, all off duty. I'm pretty sure I have a bounty. <laughs> you have a bounty. I wish there was a way to know how much I have. Aww, you're so sleepy. Then daddy, stop. I'm sleeping. Okay. No. Tell me who it is! What? What is this hair? It's adorable. Right it. I know it's adorable, but like, is it important? Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. Tell me who it is. I was born in High Rock. You're well, better. Get the information. I am not a rich man. Who do you work for? Where are the drugs going? <laughs> who are you? What do you want? He doesn't look better like a <laughs> The gourmet? Yes. Never. The gourmet. I don't know what led you here. But nothing will betray my trust. Did he start that statement with never? The gourmet's identity yeah. To my After you ask who is he, where is he, never! <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend Roden wanted me to endanger my right. own life. Right. Look, sure. His name is Balagor Cronolo. He's an orc. Come again? 
been staying at the Night Gate Inn. Balagog's Grono Lab. Now, Thank you. You're, you're welcome. I speak Skyrim. So I don't talk to retards. Yeah, I we're always done. kill him afterwards. You have to kill him. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Oh, really? I kind of think I just did it out of. <laughs> just you just spot. kind of did it. <laughs> and then you were like, oh, wait, I Can actually. You just arrow him from a distance? No. They'll, they'll know. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Here, hold on, let me save. And I want the quick save. Stop it. Do either the conjuration bow or. I'm simply. So use the conjuration bow. Something falls. I don't remember. If you have a bow. I just don't know what it's called. The Fenrir ends. Yeah, it's a really good one. It's just like all of my magic. That's because it's a high level spell. Also, everyone can see me. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> You're a terrible shot. It's on point. There you go. They knew it was me. You didn't get a bounty? There it goes. Now nah, you got a bounty. <laughs> I like she sat back down though. No one seems to care. She's like, huh. See? It was my imagination. What a display of color. Need something? Because I must have been imagining things. Her reaction was, what a display of color. She's talking about your, your conjuration. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what she's talking no, about. No, she's talking about the blood. <laughs> Also, look at that. Oh no. Did he have a dagger? Yeah, he had a dagger. Oh boy. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. It's the Falmer. Oh, uh, you know what? It'd be easier for you guys to just kill me. Win, I don't want a bounty. Hit me. Hit, hit me. Jeez. That took too long. Then process them. 